So on one knee, we're going to transition from this position to a low lunge. This is a great position to engage your glute while you're stretching the front of your hip. So as I set this up, I want to have something in front of me that I can hold on to. It could be a chair or this box or the edge of your couch, coffee table. And I want to try to get my front foot as close to that thing as I can. So my front foot is near the object that I'm going to touch and my other knee is on the ground. Now I'm going to take my hands onto this. And I'm going to start this by lightly engaging my stomach, okay? Because I want my stomach to stay tense so I don't get any pressure on my back. If I have people who really arch their back, sometimes I even have them come down and rest on their forearms or elbows. So either hands up on this surface or coming down a little bit more on the forearms. If this puts any pressure on the front of my hip, it's better if I have something that's maybe a little bit higher so I don't have any pressure on the front of my hip or groin. So here I'm just going to curl my back toe. And I'm going to keep my stomach engaged as I straighten my back leg as straight as I can get it. And to do that, I'm squeezing my butt. And in the process, most people, when they squeeze that butt, they want to tense their back. So we're trying to use this surface in front of us to keep the stomach engaged and feel my stomach tighten and my butt tighten without any pressure or pain in my back. And I'll hold that for five seconds and then I'll come back down. Like I said, if this is something that would bother you or you do feel it in your back, Sometimes coming down onto the forearms, having my back a little bit more flexed ensures that I don't tense through here. And this is something you want to try anywhere in the 5 to 20 times, holding each one for 5 seconds. Now the next step to make this a little harder would be to straighten the leg and then let go. And hold here, and then maybe come back down and take a break. Or I could do this whole thing without holding on to anything. I could put my hands on my knee, which would be a little less support than this, or I could just do it without even touching. So all of these get progressively harder. Obviously this would be the more challenging with no support from anything.